Hey, everybody, and welcome to the next episode of the Slow Smoke Business Show. I'm your host, Jared Morgan. Excited to be here. I got the blue glove on. You know, it's going to be something delicious when we've got the blue glove on. Today, we're talking to my new friend, Nancy Erickson, and she is known as the book professor, the great and powerful book professor. Welcome, Nancy. <laughs> Thanks, Jared. Oh, I appreciate being here, and you're already making me hungry. Yeah. So, well, that's the idea, right? Uh, we're trying to make people hungry and motivated. I just made that up on the spot, but it sounds good. Uh, today, we're going to be doing some chicken skewers. I had actually always wanted to be a writer. And I had written a lot of stuff when I was younger, and I'd had a few things published. And so I thought, I'm going to bone up on those writing skills. So I went back to school and I got a master's degree in writing, a master's of fine arts. And then that when I graduated, the university where I graduated from asked me to join the faculty to teach, which is maybe a little advantage of being an older student. You know, you have a little bit more maturity. And, and so I did that. I, so I started teaching writing. And at the same time, I started my nonfiction publishing house. I wanted to publish nonfiction books and not just like any kind of nonfiction. It was a, the type of nonfiction that where it would actually either the, the books would either save lives, change lives or transform society. Mm. So that was, um, you know, it was a learning curve. It's like, you know, just like anything else, you have to learn all what's involved in publishing and publishing is a really old industry. So there's a lot of conventions that you need to adhere to. And there's so many great stories in the world of people that have done amazing things or overcome things. And if they're not, I guess, to your point, if they're not a gifted writer, or if they don't really know how to go about the process, that story doesn't get told. You're, Jared, that's exactly right. And that's what was needling at me is that kind of even the, if you back up a few steps, the whole reason that I even wanted to start doing this is because we, <laughs> Uh, you don't have to look around very far to notice that we have a lot of problems in our world sure. and it's even harder to name them, much less solve them. But I firmly believe that the answers are trapped inside of people like you and like your listeners. And that when you simply tell your story, what you've been through, what you've overcome, what you've developed, what processes you've created, that you become the source of two things that people can't live without. And those two things are hope and help. And I think that's, and we mainly work with uh, entrepreneurs and business leaders and business owners. And, you know, I think that's what we're all doing in our businesses within our own confines of our skill set is offering people hope and help, you know, hope that they can get from where they are to where they want to be and help in doing that along the way. So if somebody works with you, is there just sort of like, is it a flat sort of arrangement that they work with you on or do you put, they, they work with you monthly? How does that go exactly? Actually, it's really fun. We, the most popular way is to work with people in group masterminds oh. and that would be a group that has anywhere from three to seven people in it. Seven is the max. And we start off as a group and we're on a, we're on a call on a zoom call, the whole group once a week to talk about what you have worked on that week. So, but it, we start off with this series of foundational questions and they're questions like, why are you even doing this? What's your motivation? Who specifically is your audience and how is that audience going to be changed as a result of taking in your message? So there's 12 of these questions and we end up taking the answers, Jared, and we distill them down into a purpose statement for your book. And the purpose statement simply says, the purpose of this book is to do this particular thing for this specific audience, period. And the value of that is that is how, what you use to prioritize what you put in your book. You can't put everything you know in your in a book. Yeah. It's just, it won't fit. Right. And not only that, it wouldn't be very interesting <laughs> to other people. So we have to really target your message. And so when you're thinking about what you might want to put in your book, you measure it against that purpose statement. And you think, well, does this really 
deliver the audience to realize the purpose? And if yes, then it's in. And if it doesn't really do that, then you set it aside. You might surprise yourself and write more than one book. Hey, if you like this Slow Smoke Short, please check out the full episode that drops every Wednesday. It'll be the Wednesday after this one came out, and you can hear the whole interview in its entirety.